Hey yogis, Kirsty here. Today we'll be doing a quick 15 minute slow and juicy self-love practice. This will be in form of a very slow vinyasa. So really feel good 15 minutes of your day to just set a nice tone of appreciation for yourself, for your body, and to just give yourself a little extra TLC. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We'll start on our backs. So once you arrive, bring your feet nice and wide. Allow your palms to rest open by your sides. And just take a few moments to get really rooted and grounded here on the four corners of your yoga mat. Maybe just checking in with yourself, and noticing how you feel today. And then just slowly with your next breath in, reach your arms up over your head, fill up the belly and chest. And then exhale, draw your knees into your chest and wrap your arms around your shins. Little sway left to right here to massage your lower back. And then you'll take the arms wide open in a T and allow your knees to drop to the right as you gaze towards the left. Moving gentle and slow to just nourish and revitalize every cell. Watching your breath move slow and steady. Next inhale, gently pull your knees through center and over to the other side. Gaze towards the right. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Eyes remain closed as you breathe. Next breath in, bring your knees back to your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, give it a little squeeze. And then on your exhale, set your heels down on the mat. Press into your feet, lift those hips high. Shimmy your shoulder blades together as you interlace the fingers behind your lower back. You'll puff up through the heart and chest just for three. Just for two. And one. Gently release the hips. Bring the soles of your feet to touch and allow your knees to fall wide. One hand over heart, one hand over belly. We'll take a full breath in of nourishing breath. And a deep release of anything stagnant or still. One more full inhale. With the lips sealed, full exhale. From here, you'll bring your knees together by closing the legs like a book. Roll over to the left or right, and then gently make your way into a tabletop position. Good, from your tabletop, just close your eyes and take any movement that feels really natural and intuitive here. Maybe it's a couple of cat-cow. Maybe you even thread the needle. Just taking anything that feels right in the body and following it with your breath. All right, inhales, they expand you. And the exhales, they compress you, they twist you, they fold you. So just follow that cadence. Maybe figure eight in the hips and then come to stillness. We'll walk our hands all the way forward, draw the chest down towards the mat as you stretch through the shoulders, finding melting heart pose. You can bring your forehead to the mat or you can rest your chin, just finding somewhere where you really feel that space around your heart starting to dissolve and open. Two breaths.
Beautiful. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. From here, we'll tuck our toes under, reach our hips to the sky, downward facing dog. You can pedal in and out of your legs here. Just let it feel good for a moment in the back line of your body. And then when you're ready, a big inhale to lift the heels. And then exhale, drop your heels to the right and bend your knees a lot as you sink down nice and low. Good, inhale back up. Exhale, heels to the left, bend the knees, sink low. Good, inhale back up. Exhale, heels down to the mat. Full breath in. Full breath out. You'll walk your toes to touch here and then inhale, stretch your right heel high. And on your exhale, just step your right foot in between your hands, nice and slow. Inhale, reach that right arm all the way up as you gaze up towards the sky, lengthen through the right side body. And then take that left knee and slide it behind your right ankle as you sit down and twist all the way over that right leg gazing over your right shoulder for a seated spinal twist. An extra breath in, an extra breath out. A fun little transition here, turning towards the left. Pay attention to this. You'll just lift your hips and come all the way into a wide-legged forward fold towards the back of your mat. If you don't know how we got here, don't worry. You'll have another try on the other side. From here, you'll just hang heavy, swaying left to right. Then take that left hand and grab the outside of the right ankle, bend into the left knee and scoop the right arm high with an inhale for a twist. Exhale to release. Grab the other ankle, bend into the right knee, inhale, scoop the left arm high. Exhale to release. Now on your inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing those feet still hips with distance. You'll roll your shoulders to your ears and then down your back and then breathe in, arms shoot up towards the sky. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. From here, pull into your palms, lift your heart, lean back. And then with the exhale, bend your knees, bow forward, draw the arms all the way up and over, release down. Slowly release your fingertips towards the earth. Inhale, you'll lengthen halfway. On your exhale, walk your hands towards the back of your mat or the top of your mat <laughs> and step the feet together. So we're facing the back, but it's technically towards the top of your head. From here, full breath in. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest and the chin all the way down to the earth. From here, bring your fingertips as wide as your mat and point your elbows up towards the sky. With the breath in, you'll lift your chest slightly, little to no weight into the palms, and then drop that right shoulder down as you gaze left. A nice stretch for the shoulder. Good, inhale right back up. Exhale, left shoulder down, gaze right. Let's do that one more time each side. It feels so good, inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale left. Inhale, center. Exhale all the way down. Tap the forehead. From here, slowly press back to child's pose. Toes touch, knees wide, forehead to the earth. From here, we'll take our right hand and reach for that right heel. And then on your inhale, lift up to a half camel pose. So just pushing the heart forward, swinging the right arm high. And then on your exhale, release all the way back down to child's pose. Tap the forehead. Good, right hand reaches the right heel. Inhale, sweep that left arm high, lean back. Exhale all the way back down. One more each side. Inhale, left arm back, right arm high. Exhale, release. Inhale, right hand back, left arm high. Exhale, release. 
beautiful. From here, come into tabletop. Downward facing dog. Let's take all of that on the other side. Inhale your left heel high. Exhale, step that left foot in between your hands. Breathe in, stretch the left arm up for a gentle dragonfly twist. And on your exhale, slide the right knee behind the left ankle. Sit all the way down as you hook the right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Twist towards the left. From here, turn towards the right. Here's that funky transition. Unravel the legs, coming into a wide-legged forward Fold, now facing the opposite end of your mat. Inhale to grab the right ankle, bend the left knee and twist. Exhale, release. Swap sides, right hand grabs left ankle. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, release. On your inhale, slowly roll all the way up. Arms reach towards the sky. With the exhale, interlace your hands. Pull into those palms, lift your heart, breathe in. Exhale, bow forward, arms draw all the way up and over. Breathe into the shoulders for a moment. Gently release the fingertips down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk your hands all the way towards the top of your mat. Step your feet in together, full inhale. Exhale to your belly. Good, this time reach the right arm out to the right, and then plant the left palm, roll up onto that right hip as you set the left foot behind the right leg. You can rest your head down and breathe into the front of that right shoulder, or to open up the chest a little more, loop the left arm behind you. Slow and soft breath here. Gently roll back. Deep compassion for yourself through every movement. Start to reach the left arm out. Roll up onto the left side. Reach behind the back with the right arm. A reminder that there is nothing more you need to do here. Nothing more you need to add or become. This practice is about eliminating rather than adding. So eliminating any limiting beliefs, any doubts, eliminating any thought loops that tell you you're not enough. And instead stepping into an infinite space of all knowing of all being and realizing that every tool you could ever need is deep inside of you. You just have to get still enough to listen. One more breath in. Exhale back to your belly nice and slow. From here, press your way all the way up into a table and then just come to a seat on your heels. If this is too much, you can come to a regular seat, but we'll take one hand over our heart, one hand over our belly. Just taking a moment to breathe, to notice what just a little bit of movement and self-compassion can do for you. And we are so often our biggest critics for the next few breaths, can you be your biggest cheerleader? From here, we will slowly slide onto our bum and then send our legs out in front of us. 
With an inhale, reach the arms high. With your exhale, bow down into yourself all the way over your legs. Don't worry about it looking perfect or finding any more depth than you already have. Just surrender to where your body is exactly in this moment. On your next inhale, slowly lift your chest. And then take your time coming all the way onto your back for our final posture, our Shavasana. If you'd like, you can find legs up the wall or just finish in a nice seated meditation. Allowing yourself to fully absorb this practice. Allowing yourself to accept exactly where you are in this moment in time as a necessary step towards whatever's coming next. And trusting that if you show up with pure intention and an open heart, there's no way you can get it wrong. I encourage you to pause this video here and take a full five minute Shavasana or meditation but if you're ready, we will slowly start to wake up. Any shapes along the way, and we will close in a seated position. Take your time getting there. There's no rush. Once you do arrive, closing out this practice in gratitude thanking yourself for carving out the time to nurture your mind, your body, your spirit. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below with any other classes you'd like to see on my channel. And make sure to subscribe to never miss a video. You can tag along on Instagram at Kirstie Page, or you can go to my website, which is listed in the description below to see other offerings that I have coming up. Peace.